Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we have a new video for you and a new giveaway with a twist. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. They are made in America and have a lifetime warranty on them. If you're looking to add some stability to your tractors, then make sure you check out Bora. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but one of our loyal subscribers pointed this out that every time you hit the like button, a puppy is saved. So make sure you hit that down below. And if you want to see more tractor videos, hit that subscribe button. If you want to buy something for your tractor for the three-point hitch for the front end loader, make sure you check out GoodWorksTractors.com. We are going to tell you all about how to win one of these stump buckets later on in the video, one of our original design that we have here. There are some others on the market, but this right here is the GWT Stump Wrecker. Stick around until later, we'll tell you how to win. Really quick overview of these two different products that you see. We've done some other videos on it. This is the original Stump Wrecker. We designed this for small compacts and subcompact tractors like the 1025R, the Kubota BX. You can get it with a John Deere quick attach or a skid steer quick attach mount. Uh, good for the two series, the Kubota B series, Kubota LX, maybe even your John Deere 3E series. But we designed this version. You're looking at the first prototype of the HD Stump Wrecker for the bigger tractors. So like your 3R series, your Kubota Kubota L series, um, 4 series John Deere's, Kubota Grand L's, kind of the larger compact frame size that they're going to put more of a beating on the smaller bucket, so it's really not recommended. You want to get something like this, heavier, thicker steel, more beefy support on the backside all around. Again, this is a prototype. We don't have this in production yet. We're in September 2021. A lot of you probably watch this in the future. We'll hopefully have it in production by that point. Check out the website for details and pricing. So general design notes about the stump wrecker. You're gonna see a sawtooth-like or a serrated edge, kind of like what you see on a sawzall on here so that it can cut going either direction uh, into or pulling back out instead of just one direction. We went through a lot of different iterations trying to get the right type of design. Some were too flimsy, some just didn't cut like we wanted it to. I think we found a winner with this one. We carried it over on the HD bucket as well. A few other notes, you're going to see this integrated chain slot so that you can put a chain in there, tie it off to something else and drag it back out if you want to. This is going to be a replaceable cutting edge. It's made out of AR400 so it's high strength steel. This is going to be bolted on so that if you do end up bending these teeth you can just put a new edge on and get back to work. So one of the design issues I have with a lot of the stump buckets that are out there, I think they're too long front to back and so we really shorten this one up and that is a sacrifice, right? You can't dig as deep of a hole or as deep of a trench but you're putting less stress and strain and potential awkward torque on your loader arms which could cause damage. It's just more in the wheelhouse of a small tractor and to go along with that you can see how wide it starts off here back at the base to really give it more support and strength but we narrow it down towards the front end to really maximize your digging power so as far as length front to back on the regular stump bucket you're going to be about 18 inches right in that ballpark and on the hd version quite a bit longer Ring it in at close to 27 inches or about 50% longer front to back. We do have a fabricator in Iowa that produces both of these buckets for us so this is made in America with American labor and American steel. We're gonna go ahead and get the obvious one out of the way, which is stump removal. And I'll tell you, it works pretty darn well at that. You should see some of these mega stumps that guys have got out with either just the stump bucket or the stump bucket and maybe everything they had in their arsenal as well. But these things can make a huge difference in trying to clean up an overgrown field. You know, we had tons and tons of shrubs that were out here all over the place. At some point, I got to spend some time going through and cleaning everything up out here. But whether it's in a big old field, it could be in your yard or even in your landscaping, something like this, it's just a tiny little shovel essentially on your tractor. It saves the back and it makes quick work. So we've done a video comparing a front hoe bucket to a back hoe. There's a fairly substantial pros and cons list going along with each. A stump bucket can tackle a lot of these projects for a fraction of the price. So recently, Chris was on a project on the other side of the state where they had both the front hoe and the back hoe. They found themselves gravitating towards the front hoe. For their application, it was more of cramped space, cramped working conditions and area, and they had a lot of projects to do with the stump bucket, and so they had to take the back hoe off at some point. It made it more of a compact situation. It's easy to have right in front of you, really nimble to move around and, and attack from all different angles as well. Again, you can justify either one of these attachments, but I will tell you, for about a tenth of the price compared to a backhoe, it sure is hard to beat. 
Digging trenches, ditches, and drainage is a very handy application for one of these. We showed you a little while ago uh, just how well these things can trench. We're going to have some trenching to do out here as well along the driveway that we're putting in, trying to get some drainage sloping off into the woods and some other low areas. Now this isn't for a super deep trench because again, you're limited front to back. So about, what was it, 18 inches here and 27 inches on the larger unit. So it's not going to be for like a four foot trench that you're digging, putting in a water pipe, but something shallow, whether it's for electrical or drainage that kind of thing. Now planting is another good use because again, think of it like a shovel. So a lot of things a shovel can do, this can do just on your tractor. So whether you're putting in some new landscaping, maybe you have an orchard or just a couple landscape trees throughout the yard that you want to do, you can use one of these, maybe not make the perfect hole, but you can get the majority of the work done with a stump bucket, dig it out, have the dirt set aside right there and ready to go back in without the back breaking work of using a shovel. So this is really good for carrying stuff as well. And one of the common uses could be carrying up boulders or landscape rock that you wanna move around. Maybe you're building a wall, retaining wall somewhere, or just doing a, a nice border around your yard. And so I'm gonna have some areas out here where I wanna take a pile of landscape rock that I have, or it could be pea gravel, or maybe you have mulch at your house too, but you wanna scoop it up. Maybe it's gonna be a smaller scoop, but it's gonna give you a concentrated point where it's dropping it down so you have more precision instead of having a big old five foot, six foot bucket where you're dropping it out. And it kind, kind of goes all over the place and you have to do a lot of cleanup work. It's a smaller quantity, but it gives you more control. Another use is dragon. No, not that kind, dragging. So the next use really comes from the versatility of having this chain slot here. So say you do have a bit of a stubborn stump, you can go ahead, throw a chain through here, kind of wrap it around a couple times around that stump and just try to back up and pull it out. So you want to get it worked fairly loose. You know, you don't want to stress and strain your loader too much, but you could even have some logs that are way out in the distance or somewhere else that you can't really access easily. Hook up a couple straps with a chain, get it on here and pull them out. Some guys are getting really creative using it for things I never even thought of. So they're treating it kind of like a crowbar. So they've had some remodel projects going on, whether that's a back patio or a front sidewalk, but chunking up that concrete and then using this to kind of pry underneath it and lift out sections, that kind of use didn't even cross my mind, but it's certainly well within the wheelhouse. And again, you're getting a lot of focused pressure or a lot of focused power by not having a huge wide bucket, but having more of a concentrated point. So you got to use that to your advantage when you can. So I'm sure that's just a handful of the ways that you can use one of these stump buckets. So if you end up winning a stump bucket, what are you gonna use it for? And speaking of winning, oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna give one of these away. So a few simple rules. We like to keep things easy. You just have to leave a comment down below in the YouTube video. So share what you would use this for. If you don't feel like sharing, you can still leave a comment. You can still have a chance to win, but you need to comment on this YouTube video in particular. It is open to anybody in the continental USA, the lower 48 as it's called. Sorry, folks in Canada will ship there someday. So you have until Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. If you're watching in the future, I'm sorry, but you have until again, September 29th, 2021 at 12 noon Eastern time. We're gonna do the drawing shortly after that. We use an app called Comment Picker. Basically you just enter in the video URL. It goes through all the comments and randomly selects one, that's gonna be our winner. We're gonna to reply to your comment in the video. We're not gonna to reply to anybody else's, so look for a reply from us. We're also gonna post something on our YouTube community tab, so you'll have a couple different ways to get notified. We'll reach out to you, reach out to us. We gotta verify your identity and then get your shipping information, and we'll get you in the queue for one of these stump buckets. And just to clarify, that's gonna be one of the standard stump records. The HD version is still in prototype phase, not available yet. You're gonna have your choice of either the John Deere Quick Attach, if you have a John Deere, or the Skid Steer Quick Attach. So if you have a pinned on bucket, it is not gonna work for you. You need to have a Quick Attach system of one of those two options. And now for the twist. And to make this a little bit more inclusive, including those of you that have already purchased a stump bucket from us, you're still included in the drawing. So if you happen to be that random winner that is selected, we are gonna reimburse you and who knows, maybe retroactively, you're gonna get yourself a free stunt bucket. So we're doing these giveaways as part of a big thank you to all of you that have been putting up with me over the years. We are reaching 100,000 subscribers here any day now, so pretty excited about that, it's pretty cool. But it's all thanks to you, so, so this is why we're doing the giveaways, having a little fun and giving something back. Hey, well, if you enjoyed this video, please save the life of a puppy and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, maybe a stunt bucket, check out GoodWorksTractors.com. Hey, well, thanks again for taking the time to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.